Well, you approved $64 million for a renovated Riverfront Park more than a year ago, but the still, uh, city still hasn't broken ground on any improvements. xy 4 is John Hendricks working for you, and John, what's taking so long to get those renovations started? Well, Nadine, it's a combination of things. The lengthy process the city has to go through to hire architects, plus those involved with the project are doing a ton of uh, public outreach because they want to get this right. If you stroll through Riverfront Park, there is something missing. The sounds of construction equipment as projects wait to get started in the park. The city had thought they would break ground around Labor Day. As we did more of that pre-design work and design work, we realized we really weren't going to get in the ground until the fall of, of, uh, of 2015. Now the Parks Department is eyeing this spring to get renovations started. Parks and Rec Director Leroy Eady says they were too optimistic on the process of finding and contracting architects. He adds they also want to get this park right. Eady says despite the slow start, he's confident work will be done by 2019. We have to have the money allocated in three years, the bond dollars, and we have to spend them in five years. So we, we really got have to be moving with pace in order to be able to get all of those projects done. So what do park users and voters think of this delay? I feel like if the taxpayers are going to be paying this much money that it should be done in a reasonable amount of time. I want to make sure that if they do spend that much, they want to make it a beautiful place. They want to make sure it's high quality stuff. When it comes to being on budget, Edie says there is no question that will happen. We told the voters we were going to do this with this amount of money. We have to deliver on that, and we're completely focused on that target. Nobody um, is losing sight of that at all. But there are questions surrounding the cost of fixing some of the bridges. If it gets too expensive, the city is looking at other options that doesn't leave the taxpayer holding the bill. We started to work with our partners in our utilities department and, and finding ways that we can work together and potentially there's some investment that they can make because there's some other utility requirements that need to be improved within the park. In the end, they say they want to do their due diligence and create a park that everyone will enjoy. Now in February, the city tells me there will be an open house so the public can come see the designs before contractors break ground in the spring. Reporting in studio tonight, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News.